Hi everyone! So I'm going to show you guys how to make this really cool DIY. It's skeleton hand hair clips and I just love these so much. I see it on Tumblr and Pinterest and I just wanted to make my own. It's such a fun and inexpensive project so I'm going to show you guys how to make these. Here's what you will need. Um, this is totally optional. I use spray paints because I didn't really like the color that the skull or the skeleton hands came in. So I bought um, spray paint in gold, silver, and also white. So you don't have to get this if you don't want. You can totally just use it as is. But I just wanted to glam it up a little. And this project does get messy. So I would definitely recommend using like latex gloves or whatever. And I also purchased these at Walmart. You can use any kind of brand spray paint. Next, you will need a finishing spray. I just got this Krylon Low Odor Clear Finish, and I got this one at Michael's. And next, of course, you will need your skeleton hands. I also got this at Michael's, and this is the color that it came with, and I didn't like it, so that's why we're going to spray paint them. And then I got these hair clippies from Hobby Lobby, and I just like these because they're just easier to use. And you will also need some industrial type glue or hot glue. I'm just using the E6000. Now onto the tutorial. We're just going to open the bag and remove all of the skeleton hands. And try to assemble them with a little bit of space in between so we can spray them evenly with the spray paint. Now to glam up the little skeleton hands, we're going to um, apply the spray paint. Make sure you guys do this outside because the smell is just really, really strong. And make sure you do it at a distance as well so you don't have bubbles into your little skeleton hands. So yeah, we're going to do about two coats of this and I let it dry about 5-10 minutes and then flipped it over to the other side. You don't really have to do the other side if you don't want. But if you want them even on both sides, by all means, just do it. And once you're done applying the two coats, just let it dry for about, you know, 10-15 minutes before you apply the clear coat, which is what we're doing right now. And make sure you do it at a distance as well. And just apply accordingly. Just read the directions on the back of the bottle and how to spray and wait time and all that good stuff. Next, we are going to glue the hair clip to the skeleton hand. Make sure you glue on the flat side of the hair clip. Apply glue to the ends of the clip and then once you have your glue onto the hair clip, we're going to apply it to the skeleton hand. Make sure you have it to where the clip is right behind one of the fingers so it kind of hides it in a way like so. Okay, so extremely helpful tip, if you're going to spray paint these, definitely glue on the clips before you spray paint because what it does, it just comes like, it just glues to the paint and just comes right off. So I was like really, really confused why that happened, but I just reapplied the glue and then it just stayed. So make sure you know you do that or else this will come off and it'll be a hot mess and you don't want that. So yeah, make sure that you glue this on before you spray paint and um, apply the glue on the flat side of the hair clip like as you guys can see right here. And like I said, it does have a curve to the hand so make sure you apply a generous amount of glue. And so yeah, you're basically done you guys. You can add also, you know, your own flair to it. You can add like a rhinestone glitter or paint them. It's up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial or do it yourself and you can, you know, wear this for Halloween or Day of the Dead, whatever you like, whenever you like. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.